Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of um, May 1st through the 16th, 2019. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, and I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do give you some clarity. Um, oh, pulled out too many. And um, also, if you would like to reach me for a personal reading, you can email tamajtarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. And if you want to reach me by phone, um, you will have to wait until I post up the notification stating that I'm taking calls for um, that time frame. If you don't see that notification posted, then I'm not taking calls at that time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we have the central issue as the Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, um, and then, I'm sorry, Nine of Wands and Five of Wands, and then we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so central issue here um, could be dealing with a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I also see Capricorn and maybe a Libra. Um, but it looks like maybe someone has been holding back with how they feel. And maybe someone is now ready to express how they feel. And it seems like it's been taking forever. Um, I feel like this person is kind of a hermit, kind of isolated, maybe very shy. And they have just been maybe watching or observing you, trying to figure you out, trying to figure out how they want to approach you. Um, this person also has some sort of burning desire or some sort of hidden passion that they don't really open up about. They don't share it with a lot of people. Um, I also see someone who's very uh maybe materialistic um or enjoys like you know materialism someone who's very earthly um very very much into what do you call it organic things too uh someone who's very into uh the finer things in life dressing nice looking nice um, going to nice restaurants, dining out. Um, but I feel like, you know, overall, this is about someone getting ready to make an offer or getting ready to show you or prove to you. So I feel like you're going to have some sort of confirmation about how someone's someone feels. So you will know where they stand. But I, I do get someone who's very guarded. Someone is very slow at opening up with how they feel because they might have a hard time trusting other people. Um, someone does not like to waste their time. Maybe this is you. You don't like wasting your time. So it's like, you know what? I'd rather observe this person for six months <laughs> That way I will know for sure whether or not I want to move forward with them. But I need to make sure this is someone that I want to be with. So it could be you, but it could be the other person. Either way, I just see oh, I see someone who is very guarded with how they feel. They like to observe and watch a lot. Um, it is time for someone to move out of their comfort zone, especially if they're they're shy. So I don't know if someone pushes your buttons. I almost feel like someone is getting out the house or someone is finally coming out from the shadows and someone is just kind of like long time no see. I feel like somebody's been very isolated for a while. So even let's say, for instance, if you have a hard time meeting people, maybe because you are a hermit, um, 
And maybe you've been working, you even work from home, you don't go, get out, and then maybe you just started getting back out in the job market and you're like, okay, now I'm going to be around other people. Or maybe you're just now, uh, maybe you accepted some sort of invitation to go out with somebody and people are just kind of like, we haven't seen you in a long time. Um, somebody is like, where have you been? Under a cave? Like, you're so behind. Like, you you might not know anything that's been going on in the world. It's almost like you've totally been isolated. You haven't been watching the news. You didn't know about bombings that happened. You didn't know about anything. And somebody might be trying to catch you up on uh, recent events. Um, I'm also seeing like someone in a relationship may be out of obligation someone who's still holding on to something even though they might have other desires you might be in a relationship and it's not necessarily about stepping out and meeting other people but maybe there's other things that you do want to do in your life but because you've been in this relationship because you've been in this bubble or whatever you haven't had any time to yourself um, maybe you want to go on a walk uh, or a vacation or a trip or something you want to do it on your own I'm getting someone who is really wanting their me time too they're like I haven't done this in a long time um, I haven't gotten pampered I haven't had a pedicure um, so I feel like you or your partner, if you're in a relationship, is really desiring some sort of me time. Um, those of you that have been single for a while, this is just more so about you feeling the pressure of it. It's like it's maybe the pressure starting to get to you. You're like, I'm so ready for love. Like, I'm, I'm straight. I'm not thirsty, but damn. You know, you're starting to just kind of feel it. Um... Especially with this energy, you know, you're just kind of frustrated. You're erupting inside. You know, you're like, okay, like there's a, there's some friction. Like I need to, uh, I got an itch. I need it scratched, you know, so. But the problem is too that you are wanting someone to come towards you. And you are just kind of like, I refuse to go on a dating site or I refuse to let this person know how I feel they should approach me you know so I do get that too where there is a connection but Pete you guys are fighting it you guys are not willing to open up to one another you're both afraid or you both have trust issues. There is an attraction, but you know, for whatever reason, now it could be too that one person is single and one person is in a relationship. So the person that's in a relationship is the one that is, you know, they're just being disciplined. And even though they feel that attraction, they're just trying to keep their distance from you and behave. Now, like Aries reading, I see something going on in a work situation, too. Um, I'm seeing, too, someone moving out for the first time. Someone is maybe being on their own for the first time, like this is new. Uh, Someone may just now start to kind of experience adult life, even if you are older. It's like you're maybe a late bloomer. Um, but I, I'm feeling like someone is finally packing up and getting their own place. Um, maybe because the two you can finally afford it. But I feel like somebody might be uh, searching for a roommate or placing an ad for a roommate. Now, I'm also getting here, see, now, for some of you, this is about some sort of love triangle or temptation. There's maybe something, some sort of innocent flirtation, and there is some sort of physical desire there, though. Someone is just like, I'm trying to be a good person. I'm trying to be a good man. I'm trying to be a good woman. But this person is 
you know, causing a flame between my legs, you know. I had to keep taking cold showers dealing with this person. Um, see, I see here a, a woman, She this is a river, which she's like a river down there because this person is, she's so intensely attracted to this person here. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some sort of strong physical attraction that is developing between people here. And I'm also seeing for some of you, you've probably been in some sort of a love-hate relationship or some sort of on-off again situation um, or a situation where it's this constant cycle or rotation where they're with someone who's karmic but you're wanting them to commit to you um, and so they always run back to the karmic and then they run back to you and this is, there's probably a need for you to set some sort of boundaries in that matter. Um, I feel like too, there may be a big reveal during the new moon uh, with how one feels about the other person. And I believe that new moon is May 4th. Something may also take place on a Saturday. I know that's May 4th, but I think something may take place on um, a Saturday, even if it's the following Saturday. I just kind of feel like that day may be significant. I feel like, too, there's going to be some sort of uh, planetary shift or alignment um, that is bringing about this communication or this attraction I see somebody too socializing and some sort of flirtation it maybe goes a little too far you're being asked to trust your intuition on a matter because I feel like you're in a dark about something or like if you're in a relationship and your intuition is saying that something is off something isn't right, I feel like you really need to trust that and go with it because your intuition is is the best information that you can go by regardless of what you've, what conversation that you've had with uh, other readers or psychics. You know, it's like at the end of the day, um, you really need to go with your own initial gut feeling. Um... Some of you may be feeling conflicted or torn in regards to two people and in a situation where, you know, you're trying to figure out how do you, how do you keep all three people? Or if you're dating, maybe you're not wanting to fully commit until you have some clarity on who you want to move forward with. Um, now, also, you could be dealing with someone who has some sort of codependency, especially more so to alcohol. It could be alcohol, drugs, or sex, or, uh, or a codependent relationship. Um, or also, looking at this as another clue, you could be dealing with someone who is works in a situation where they're dealing with people who are either extremely codependent um, or low vibe, low vibrational. So I'm getting more so someone who has to keep watch. So like someone who works for um, like the federal government, someone who works, who, who works, yeah, who works in the um, services or someone who works in like a prison or jails, uh, working with criminals. Um, if it's something more so on a codependent nature, not toxic, then this is more so maybe working in a hospital or nursing facility. Um, 
But I also see this too a lot of times as, you know, working with entertainers. I feel like someone has a secret or hidden life. Someone appears one way, you know, in a public, but in private, there's some place, someone completely different. Maybe even someone who is more um, nurturing, loving, humble, um, psychic, gifted, artistic, creative, sensitive, emotional. So someone might also be you know, I'm, I'm getting like someone who is like night and day. I'm getting like angel demon energy too. So one of you may be viewed as an angel and the other person it would be interviewed as a demon. So you would know who that is. But there's something about this connection that is very intense. It's very opposite. I get two people who are very opposite from one another. But the attraction is there. I feel like someone does want to um, approach or move forward, but they're just really moving slow, really taking their time, really being analytical, uh, cautious. And I do feel like at the end of the at the end of the day, there will be some sort of confirmation. Um, of, you know, how someone feels about you because they've been keeping it secret. All right, so I hope that has helped. Um, please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And many blessings to you.